Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you initially create your company file, you should review the chart of accounts to add, edit, or remove any accounts as needed. Please review the lesson titled The Chart of Accounts in Chapter 3 if you need help adding, editing, and deleting accounts within the chart of accounts. Before you make any changes, however, you should inspect the default chart of accounts provided by QuickBooks so you can see what changes you would like to make. Note that by default, QuickBooks doesn't display account numbers for the accounts it creates. If you would like to assign account numbers, you can enable that feature within the Preferences window within QuickBooks. To do this, select Edit, Preferences from the menu bar to open the Preferences window. Next, click the Accounting category shown in the list at the left side of the window. Then click the Company Preferences tab at the right side of the window. You can then check the checkbox that states Use Account Numbers to enable account numbers within QuickBooks. Then click the OK button to apply the change to your company file. You can use up to seven digits within your account numbers, although by default you receive five-digit account numbers. QuickBooks uses the following standard numbering convention that you should adhere to when creating accounts. Assets appear in the 10,000 to 19,999 range. Liabilities appear within the 20,000 to 29,999 range. Equity accounts appear in the 30,000 to 39,999 range. Income accounts appear in the 40,000 to 49,999 range. Expenses that are cost of goods sold appear in the 50,000 to 59,999 range. Expenses that are not cost of goods sold appear in the 60,000 to 69,999 range. Other income accounts appear in the 70,000 to 79,999 range. Other expenses appear in the 80,000 to 89,999 range. And non-posting accounts appear in the 90,000 to 99,999 range. Also note that you may need to add additional accounts for trust management into your chart of accounts within QuickBooks. QuickBooks gives you an asset account named Client Trust Account into which you can place these funds. You can use subaccounts to separate funds for the individual trust accounts held. If managing trusts, you should review chapters 30, 31, and 32 within this tutorial. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.